So today we're going to learn how to tune the guitar. I'm going to show you a very simple method. You're going to need your phone or a tuner. And you're going to need to download an application called Guitar Tuner is the one that I'm using. And our goal is to get the guitar in tune. So before we tune the guitar, let's figure out what are the names of the open string notes, what they're supposed to be. So we have an E, A, D, G, B, and E. That's the notes that we're supposed to get to. A simple mnemonic to memorize E, A, D, G, B, E is elephants and donkeys grow big ears. All right, so let's first figure out what's this device we're looking at here, the tuner. So we have to keep the tuner close to the sound hole so that it picks up the sound. Every time we play a note, the tuner will recognize what that note is playing. Now just to explain a little bit about this device here. For example, say if we're trying to get the E note, if the needle is crossing over to this side, it means that our note is too high. And what we need to do is we need to reduce the tension so that we try to get it to the center. If our needle is coming to this side, that means our note is too low. And then we need to increase the tension so that we get it up here. Now the understanding of tension can be felt here in the tuning peg. When you turn one way and you feel more difficulty in turning, you're increasing the tension and thereby increasing the pitch. When you feel it's easier to turn the, the tuning peg, you're decreasing the tension and you're making the pitch go down. So we want to have a constant playing because the tuner is reading the note, but as the note subsides, it starts to forget what it's heard. So we want to keep the note playing so that the tuner keeps reading. Okay? The right hand. You can place the right hand here and use alternate fingers here to play a string. Okay, let's try to tune the guitar. So I play a note and we see that the needle is before. So in this case, we're going to need to increase the tension to get up to the center. So my left hand goes to the tuning peg and I increase the tension. So turn, turn, feel where the tension is difficult to turn and that's increasing the tension. Can you see how it's going up, the needle? I'm trying to get it to the So we get it as much as to the center as possible. Now I'm going to go to the next string. What's the next string note? We had elephants and A. So we want to get an A note for the next string. So let's have a look at the tuner. We're a bit low, so I got to go a bit higher. What's the next note? Elephants and donkeys, D. The D is low again. I turn it up. Same thing on the right hand. The right hand is pulling such that you feel the string before. and donkeys grow G so the next note is G
elephants and donkeys grow big B now in this case the needle is over the line which means we're too high if we're too high we need to decrease the tension so I'm decreasing the tension Final, final string to tune. Elephants and donkeys grow big ears. E. The E again is too high, so I have to decrease the tension. Now, if we're near the center, when you're turning, just be gentle with your turning. Don't turn too fast. Once you're done tuning the guitar, make sure you always listen to what the sound of a tuned guitar sounds like. So you play one string at a time. It's good to familiarize yourself with the sound of a tuned guitar because as you play guitar more and more, whenever you pick up a guitar in the future and if you don't have access to a tuner, you'll be able to identify if one of the notes is out of tune. Thank you.